Okay, in order to get ready for this, so you're going to need four strands, um, and you're going to notice I did two with one color, two with another. Um, that's the easiest way to keep track of it. And then each strand needs to be 60 inches. So get that ready first. Okay, the next step is to um, take my four strands together, fold them um, so they're equally in half. So here's where my fold is. Okay, so I've got my pieces folded in half. Um, then I'm going to take my four pieces and I'm going to tie. So I'm taking them and I'm going to tie them in a knot. So making a loop, putting this, the uh, folds through the loop like that, and then I'm pulling so that I create a knot so they're connected. So that's your next step. Okay, step three is getting the wheel um, set up. So I'm going to take the knot that I just made, I'm going to put it through the hole, um, and notice I can see the number side in front of me. So you want um, to be able to visibly see those number sides. And then I'm going to um, separate my colors. So I'm going to take um, my green, and I'm going to put one green. Um, notice how I'm going to be using the dots here. So I'm going to go one green on one side of the dot. Um, and then I'm going to find another green, put it on the opposite side, and I have to keep these colors separated because um, since I chose a variegated yarn, which is the one that changes colors, um, we don't want to get that mixed up with my lime green. So here's my fluorescent variegated yarn. So that's going to go between the 24 one on each side of the dot. Then I'm going to take the other fluorescent. That's going to go on the eight, each side of the eight. And then my lime green goes between the 16. So that's just getting my wheel set up to actually work. So again, same color up and down, same color yarn, side to side, but this is my variegated yarn, so it doesn't look the same because it changes, but it's the same strands, okay? So get your wheel set up for weaving. Okay, so now I'm actually ready to start working with the weaving wheel. Um, so I'm going to start by having it positioned, so 32 is on my top, 16 on the bottom, 24 is on my right, or excuse me, my left, and 8 is on my right. Um, we're always going to start with the bottom left. So the bottom left um, would be this string right here. It's on the left of the 16. So I'm going to actually pull that out. And my goal is to go straight across to the next open one across. So that's between the 30 and the 31. So now I'm going to have three, one on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Okay. So now I'm going to take one from the three, and I'm going to start on my right, take the outside one, and I'm going to go straight across again between the 15 and the 14. And one of the trickiest things is keeping your strings from getting tangled underneath the wheel. So once I've done that, so you can see how they shifted from here to here, and from the dot over one to the right, Okay, so now I'm going to turn my wheel counterclockwise so that my 8 is now on top. Okay, and again I'm going to start with the bottom left. So that one is between 24 and 25. I'm going to take that, go right up to the next available one, and then I have 3 on the top. Take the one between the eight and the nine, making sure I have the right one, um, and moving that one straight down between 23 and 22. Again, turn clockwise, counterclockwise. Bottom left is the one I always start with, so take that one out, 
straight up, take the outside one, straight down, counterclockwise, starting from the bottom, straight up, top comes down. And what's going to happen, um, so you'll notice I'm right back at the turn the wheel one full time around, what's going to happen is you will start seeing your braid forming through the hole. So the braid's going to start coming out through here, or not necessarily a braid, but your drawstring will start coming out through here. So our goal is to make sure that you don't go through the work and have your drawstring be too short. So that's why your strings are long. Um, but if you get through here and you notice that um, your drawstring is long enough to fit both sides of your weaving board, um, then you can stop at any time. So you can rewatch the video, pause, stop, rewind, review as much as needed.